Amid the military conflict in Ukraine, some faith leaders in Italy are trying to help. The Apostolic Exarchate for Ukraine's Catholics was founded in 2019 by Pope Francis. It is part of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church under the Holy See. In 2020, it had more than 70,000 members. Joining us now from Rome is Sonia Sotus, director of the Ukrainian Catholic Crisis Media Center. Sonia, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Um, can you tell us how your group is trying to help people out amid the military conflict that we're seeing in Ukraine? Thank you, Tracy, for having me here today. And yes, uh, I'm here also talking about the Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy uh, for the Byzantine Rite in Italy. And as you can imagine, uh, we have a, a great number of refugees coming in. We did have quite a large community of faithful here in Italy. The Exarchate was created in October 2020 uh, by Pope Francis. And so we've got quite a large community here. We have about 70 priests and 161 communities in Italy. So uh, we were very, very ready to help. There has been an outpouring from the Italian people, from the Italian hierarchy, from uh, everyday people who have come to all of our communities, to our churches here in Rome, and have donated a huge amount of, of uh, charitable items. We've actually sent almost 20 trucks just from one church here uh, to the border in order to be able to help the refugees. And as you may know, uh, the refugees are welcome in Europe, throughout Europe, and Ital Italy is no different. Uh, and so many of our uh, churches, practically all of them, are working now as centers to be able to help the refugees find a place to stay, be able to understand what the next steps are in their lives. We're working with psychological centers to be able to help the refugees cope with the terrible trauma that they've all gone through. Yeah, and Sonia, I want to talk about that a little bit more about the faithful. I mean, how are the faithful doing in Ukraine? Are they able to attend mass or prayer services at all? How are things there? Well, as you can take a look at the conflicts going on across the country, obviously in the countries which are under siege or which have been uh, more forcefully invaded and which have a number of bombings, our priests are working hard to be able to support uh, the faithful spiritually, whether it's in a bomb shelter or whether it's wherever they may be hiding uh, to try to escape the bombings. Our priests are there with them giving them comfort and trying to give them spiritual support. As you move more towards the center and the west of the country, uh, and again, bombings are now across the country, unfortunately, our people are suffering more. But where possible, uh, services are taking place in churches. Our priests are there with our faithful. The Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church has always been a stalwart supporter of the Ukrainian people and for their human rights and for their right to freedom of religion. And so our priests are also serving as chaplains on the front line, uh, putting themselves in harm way with our soldiers, with our territorial defense units. And many of them are embedded and they are giving spiritual support to, uh, to the soldiers as well. And Sonia, thank you so much for all that you do. Sonia Sotus, director of the Ukrainian Catholic Crisis Media Center. Thank you again. Thank you, Tracy.